Hey everybody, so um, I want to talk about the loop wild node in Dynamo and before we get into it I just want to mention I didn't find a really cool use case for this so if that's what you're looking for unfortunately I don't have it. Um, I've done videos like this in the past where I look at a node that I haven't used before or I know little about and then I discuss it and try to find uh, real world examples to use it in and in this case I just couldn't figure out a good way to use it this is a working script that I have together it's kinda of messy you can ignore m mostly everything here the two pieces that um, I just want to mention are this up here is this up here it this is where I left off doesn't work it just returns uh, whatever I have as the initial value so if I just switch this to a true it'll return true so if I click run you'll see true um, and this is just a mess now. I tried so many different things to try to get this to work. I'm probably using it incorrectly, so if somebody has experience with it, I'd love to hear it. You can comment below because other people um, uh, could benefit from that as well, I think. Um, but I was hoping to just take a point and just like move it across the x-axis until it hits the room and then it ends the loop but um, I couldn't get that to work and I tried all sorts of things and th I just finally gave up on it. Um, I still want to make this video though even though I didn't find a good example because I did find some resources that I think are still worth sharing and I'm gonna put everything in the description below so definitely check that out. Also this script will be in the description uh, so check that out if you want to download it. I'll, I'll put it on uh, my github so definitely check that out um, but the other one here to the left is just this one actually does work and then this note down here is just like what is happening in the while loop or the loop while node and so you can see uh, what's happening and then what the output is so it's got three inputs it's got the initial value so that's the starting value in that case is two um, and then the continue while so this is going to continue while it's less than or uh, not equal to 100 and so it's just going to keep going and then down here this is the loop body so this is what's going to continue to loop until the condition is met and you can see when it hits 128 because it's at 64 before and then that last loop uh, takes it to 128 so it's greater than, than 100 and it ends and it returns 28 so or 128 I can possibly like, like I can partially envision like something to use this in I just haven't had a chance to well, I haven't ran into an opportunity to leverage it, but I'm trying to, to figure that out. And if I do find a good use case for this, I will definitely make another post. So, um, and my thought with these types of nodes is like, you know, the more you know about the Dynamo library and what's available, uh, you know, I think some of the challenges you run into, uh, they can be sometimes easier to deal with when you know about certain nodes because there are nodes that like address specific needs that sometimes will build like workarounds because it's what you know it's with nodes we already know so I do think learning the node library and playing around with things you haven't done before is really useful but something with the loop while node though is I th like with Dynamo everything is lists and it processes everything in those lists and that could be computationally pretty heavy and with a loop while you could look for certain conditions when you when the list is kind of unknown and then when that conditions met it will end the loop so I don't know if that's if it would have any impact on the efficiency of a script but that was kind of my thought and I was hoping to come up with something like that to share with you today um, but I just couldn't get it to work but this is one thing that does work and I will uh, you know this will be available in github so check it out or you can recreate it. it's pretty easy but I wanted to still show you like the resources I found because I think those are still helpful and it's something that in general when it comes to tools like this or even other environments like NIME or other tools that have their stuff on github I think it's useful to go look at the um, the the commits that they do so you can see the commit for the uh, they added a test for the loop while and then if we jump over we've actually got the uh, function so the loop while node function so that's this right here 
It's not terribly complicated. It's pretty straightforward, and that's what kind like by looking at that, I thought I can get something working where I was actually doing something with geometry or, or Revit data, but I couldn't um, couldn't do that or couldn't figure out how to do that. But I find it really helpful to look come out here and look at the code because that sometimes can help explain why the output is one way or another. Something else I found was this cool paper. So they did talk about uh, the looping and pretty much said it was kind of a, uh, it, was, it was hard to use, it was complex, and it wasn't that useful in Dynamo. And, and if you do have a situation where you need to use a loop while to use Python, uh, Python's usually my default for uh, this kind of stuff anyways. But um, I did think this, this paper was pretty good. I only read a little bit, and then I briefly looked at some of the other pages. But it, it looks like it's got a lot of cool stuff. And this is a like a nine-year-old paper, so um, that was really cool to see because it's like, the loop while node is something that people have said like they don't know how to use it and that's been the case for um, a long time so I'm sure there's use cases I just don't know what that is um, you know use cases in a way that would actually be used on a, a real project and, and, and also benefit more than say do doing something uh, in a simpler way like managing just a couple lists the last thing I just want to mention is the Dynamo Dictionary. So this is um, out there. There's nothing for uh, the loop while, unfortunately, but I still wanted to mention it in case um, this was something you were going to go look at. Uh, there's nothing there, but if I do find a cool way to use this, I will try to update this. Um, but anyways, just uh, this is what I've got. This is what I've got so far. Sorry I couldn't show you anything cool. And definitely comment below if you have used this node below uh, b before and um, how you used it because that could help uh, others as well that, that watch this video. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one.